Today we're gonna go over our third exercise in our series for exercises for full body movement and workout for kayaking. So today, it, it's a little bit more of a cardio workout just because, I mean, you'll notice it'll get me a little bit out of breath and it will get my heart pumping a little bit. This is a little bit more challenging of an exercise. If it does cause you pain in your back, if it causes you tightness in your hips, um, if it causes you pain in your shoulders, then I would recommend not doing this. Um, you can try it to see if, if it's good for you, but it is a little bit more advanced of an exercise than what I typically show. So what you're going to do, you're going to be in a plank. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move hands forward and hands back. It's a little bit of a plank walk for it. How you make this harder and more challenging for the full body is you lift one leg. And then you walk back and forth. And then you lift, obviously, the other leg. That gets a lot of rotational movement. It gets a lot of trunk control. As you can see, I'm a little out of breath from that. It also gets your shoulders using. So you know how to weight bear for shoulders. You know how to move those guys, even under load. Um, if you have questions on a little bit more of how to do this exercise, let me know. I can pop in another video later. Um, Make sure that you really utilize those, those lower abdominal muscles. And whenever you lift your leg, it's not that you're trying to lift it soaring high. It just, it's basically that it's just off the ground. Doesn't need to be lifted high. Um, when you lift it high, you'll be more likely to extend your low back, which will put more stress through there. This should feel good in a challenge, but not cause a bad pain. If you have uh, questions, let me know. And if it was helpful, say helpful below. Cheers, everybody.